Hello, everybody. It is Kathy with Backyard Columbus, and this is episode three of my new podcast. And today I wanted to jump right into something that recently happened to me. Um, on Christmas Day, I had a, I had a bunch of milkweed pods, okay? And what on earth am I going to do with 60 milkweed pods in my suburban backyard? So I hadn't distributed them to anyone. And so I thought Christmas Day, we're driving down to my mom's. We're out in the country not in general in front of anybody's property. We are not in the middle of the suburbs and I'm on a public road. I was not aiming for cow pastures and I'll get into all that in just a second. Anyway, so I recorded myself, uh, not driving, of course. I was a passenger. I was passenging and I recorded myself holding these milkweed pods, crushing them out my sunroof and recording it. Okay, so they're flying in the wind. It's a 15 second clip. I thought it was pretty fun. And uh, it has about 12,000 views on Instagram, 58,000 views on TikTok. This is blowing my mind already. I mean, that's funny. Facebook, over 2 million, 2.8 million plays and over 2,200 comments. I like, I don't even know what to tell you about that. It's the weirdest thing ever. I mean, yay, my two days of fame, you know, but overwhelmingly why, why I'm sharing this is I mean, hey, uh, I don't want to give myself props that I actually went viral. That's pretty exciting. Who who gets to do that? That's never going to happen to me again. But point is, an, I won't say an overwhelming majority of comments, but you would not believe the number of comments that were mean and negative about milkweed. I mean, <laughs> it, it's ridiculous. So um, two two overwhelming themes were this, were these, whatever. Uh, number one, how dare you spread seeds on other people's property? Do you think you're God? Who do you think you are? I got called typhoid Mary and, uh, someone hoped I met a refugee that's slanderous in a dark alley. So bodily harm over me spreading milkweed seeds. Honestly, it wasn't fentanyl. They're milkweed seeds. Number two, the other comment was uh, quite a few comments about, how I'm basically going to kill everyone's livestock with milkweed seeds. So let's just back this up. Um, most milkweed seeds are not going to germinate. I mean, an overwhelming majority of these things are not going to germinate. I mean, that's a fact. I have a, a community garden. I had a community garden project. My uh, friend took it over in my hometown. And I have walked with my husband around several fields and you can stand there and literally count individual milkweeds okay like one and then you got to kind of look around and see where there's another one so it's not like you spread a bunch of milkweed seeds and they are all going to pop up by the thousands all right so that's number one uh number two i've had milkweed in my backyard common milkweed i do need to differentiate there are i think i read about 72 varieties if you can believe that of milkweed and they uh, are concentrated in different areas of country. What I mean is different areas of country have different native varieties. And the only one that I can think off the top of my head that nobody wants you to have, especially on the West Coast, is tropical milkweed. California maybe like might have a ban on that. It, it interrupts the monarch migration, okay? So let me also back this up by saying milkweed is the exclusive host to the monarch butterfly. This is overwhelmingly why I'm bringing this up because uh, there is much to be said about that and that's probably gonna be a whole different podcast all by itself. But what I mean by a host is monarch butterflies lay their eggs on a milkweed plant, okay, on the other side of the leaf. So they lay that egg. That egg becomes a caterpillar and that caterpillar must have milkweed to eat in order to live. Okay, a, a monarch butterfly will not lay their egg on anything else. So if we removed all the milkweed off this planet, whether you like monarch butterflies or not, I'm just telling you this, that a monarch butterfly won't then say, oh, well, heck, I can't find any milkweed. I'm just going to use this oak tree. That's not how nature works. There are specialists. And in general, monarchs, I guess, have a specialty in laying their eggs on milkweed. That's their host plant. Okay. The milkweed sap is toxic, and it is toxic to livestock, but it also is what gives the monarch butterflies their toxicity so that most predators will leave them alone, okay? 
there's some specialists that have evolved, of course, to eat monarch butterflies, despite the fact that they're toxic, but that's not the point of this podcast. So anyway, I'm spreading my milkweed seeds everywhere, and these people come at me that I'm going to kill their livestock. So there are tons of papers, including from Purdue University, um, Ohio State University, and um, I think it's the Nature Conservancy, Conservancy, but it's nature.org. Anyway, talking about how, yes, milkweed is toxic, but it has to be consumed in large quantities to take down a cow or any livestock. Okay, and so this comes down to a properly managed pasture. A properly managed pasture would actually have loads of things, grasses and all kinds of roots. I don't know, I'm not a pasture expert, but if your livestock has other things to eat, then they are not gonna gobble, gobble down all of the milkweed only and keel over. I don't know what the statistics are, but I will tell you that I have a friend who has cows and they had a couch, okay, a sofa, and they didn't have anywhere to put it, so they put it out of pasture, and they were going to burn it later, you know, like way out in the back 40, they were going to burn this thing. And before they could do that, the cows got a hold of it, like two cows got a hold of this thing. And by the way, I learned cows have four stomachs, so I'm assuming that helps them to digest things better. But these cows ate the sofa down to the frame, and they didn't die. Okay, point is... Uh, they are not going to die from me spreading some milkweed seeds going down a highway. So, I mean, people said they hoped I got prosecuted, like jailed and prosecuted. Um, all but they hope I die. And I got cussed out. I mean, it, it just goes on and on. It's absolutely ridiculous. And my almost favorite is the person who said I am killing monarch butterflies. Like, monarch Butterflies literally cannot live without milkweed. So I don't even know what to say about that comment. It, it's, a, I guess, the world we live in where you just come out and troll people on social media and say whatever you want, whether you know what you're talking about or not. But anyway, uh, I, I did a blog post about this that said the day milkweed went viral. So, I mean, honestly, it was just a silly little 15 minute, a 15 second clip about spreading milkweed. So overwhelmingly what I want to leave you with is this. If you like monarchs, then there are lots of different varieties of milkweed that you can plant in your suburban backyard. Common milkweed may not be one of them. It does get a little robust, but certainly does not overtake your backyard. I have it confined to an area I would say that's about 15 square feet, you know, 15, 20 square feet, and I have a couple of those patches. If it runs along and shoots out a milkweed somewhere else, then I just bend over and pick it, and it's super easy to get out of the yard. But in my area in Ohio, uh, swamp milkweed is wonderful. And, um, oh, shoot. There are a, a few varieties, anyway, of native Ohio milkweed that won't go crazy and that will also feed other butterflies because they get a beautiful bl bloom on them that is quite fragrant, a sweet, nice, sweet, soft, sweet fragrance. Anyway, bees, my bumblebees absolutely love those. I've seen moths on those at night because if you did not know, moths are also pollinators. They go from flower to flower spreading nectar. So anyway, a little bit of milkweed in your yard isn't going to do any harm and blowing it into the wind is going to not do any harm either. So milkweed for monarchs, and until next time, I thank you for listening.